Hey, what's up guys? It's Chevy Monique and today I'm going to be doing a video in collaboration with another YouTuber here on YouTube. <laughs> and she's also an Ipsy OS member. Her name is Nikki Beauty Bliss. You should definitely check out her channel to see some amazing content and some beauty, some beauty videos. She does a lot of beauty videos and she actually uploads way more than me. She's super consistent and uh, I just love her content. I've been like addicted to watching it lately and you should definitely after you finish watching this video go and check out her video to see her top five winter must-haves. Okay so I had to break down my top five must-haves into categories. I'm not sure exactly how she's doing hers because I did want to ask because I really wanted to just watch her video and not spoil it for myself you know. So I didn't ask her how she was going to do hers if she was going to do it skincare if she was going to do it like you know makeup or what but I couldn't really fit much makeup into my top five must-haves but they're definitely beauty items I would say um for the most part <laughs> so the first item that I'm gonna go ahead and show you is clothing so um I am wearing one of my favorite must-haves for clothing so I'm gonna do categories it's gonna be five categories and it's gonna be several items in each category because I literally flip-flop between different things because I have so many things <laughs> so I flip-flop in between different things so I don't have like a top five but I definitely have categories of things that must happen in the winter months and new clothing or winter clothing it is super cold here right now like in the 30s to me that's cold <laughs> and I just need to keep my ears warm I need to keep my body warm and everything warm so this pink nation hat right here is where it's at yes any type of beanie is super essential for the winter months also joggers this is my Texans joggers um I think I got these at like Rue 21 but joggers I think joggers are essential in the winter months to stay comfy and warm inside the house and stuff like I just feel like it's a must-have boots so I have these boots right here and they are currently my favorite pair of boots. I don't think that they're a brand. I don't think they have a brand. They might be the brand, but I don't know what the brand is. I tried to look for a label yesterday. I couldn't find a label. The only thing I saw was like a price tag and it was $39.99. So I don't know where it came from. But these boots right here are my favorite boots. They go up to like my knees. I am short. <laughs> and I'm like 5'4". But they go to my knees. My legs are definitely short though. And they're just super cute. They're like riding boots, but oh, they're just so gorgeous and I love them. And yeah, I have like some gray boots and I just have a lot of longer boots for the winter months and I absolutely love them. The next category we're going to go into, and I'm going to go to this one because it's right in front of me. So it's not in order of importance. <laughs> and this is going to be deep conditioners. So for my natural hair, I do have to keep my hair super, super moisturized in the winter months. Like, it is a must-have. So I try to deep condition every time I co-wash my hair. So twice a week sometimes or once a week, depending. But in the winter months, it sometimes ends up being like twice a week. These right here are bomb deep conditioners that I absolutely love. Um, the first one is the Camille Rose Naturals. Deep Algae Renew, Algae Renew, Algae Renew Deep Conditioner. I also love the anything Allocate Natural. So any Allocate Natural Deep Conditioner I'm in love with. I love the green, I think it's Yucca and Plantain Shea Moisture Deep Conditioner. And the uh, Manuka Honey and Mafro Oil Deep Conditioner from Shea Moisture as well. And the... Uh, Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Mask. This stuff right here smells like the Blueberry Bliss. I am in love with Blueberry Blueberry Bliss. If you guys have watched my channel for a while, like way back when I did natural hair videos, then you would definitely know that I love Blueberry Bliss. I did a video about that, I believe. And yeah. So that is for moisture. Also, some honorable mentions <laughs> is the uh, coconut oil, any type of coconut oil. Right now, we have the Shea Moisture coconut oil. I don't know why I buy the Shea Moisture one. I just do. I buy it when it's on sale, though. I don't buy it regular price. But the Shea Moisture coconut oil, Richard actually really, really loves it. He just loves coconut oil in general. And then I have the 
raw african shea butter which is always bomb this can be a deep conditioner this can be a body moisturizer so both of these were in here for those purposes for deep conditioning or body moisturizing so the next lip balm is going to start the next category the next category is going to be sol de janeiro yes they get their own category yes it is crazy and insane but i did get their Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Capucha Lip Butter. I actually purchased this on my own and then they sent me one in the mail for PR. So that was pretty awesome of them because <laughs> I can definitely use two. One for my beauty room and one for when I am out in my purse. So this is a balm lip treatment lip butter lip butter it's a lip butter <laughs> this is a bomb lip butter and i am definitely a fan this is not an advertising video i just happen to really 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 love their stuff that's why they get their own category the uh, sol de janeiro brazilian foreplay moisturizing shower cream gel I have been using this since I got it. It is so done now. I think I've had it for less than a month, but it's completely finished and all used. And I actually have a new one that just came in, but this one I did purchase with my own money. And the new one came on PR because I posted a picture of me, the items that I did purchase because I was a fan so much. So yeah, the next item that I have, I don't know where it went. I guess I put it back in the... Oh, here it goes. The next item that I have from the Sol de Janeiro category. So I'm on category number three. I got the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I love this stuff. Um, I love the smell of this stuff probably more than anything else. I like the consistency, but I'm not usually a fan of thick consistencies in lotion and body butters and stuff like that. But it's something about this one that I just love. I feel like it's nourishing my skin. I feel like it's doing some good things. So it's supposed to basically be like a firming agent. It's supposed to help tighten and just it's supposed to do good things. So hopefully with continued use, it will do those things. <laughs> they also just came out with a new product and they sent it to me I've only used it one time so I can't give you a full opinion on it but it does smell bomb and it is purple like a purple yeah it's purple and it's the Sol de Janeiro Akai body power cream so this stuff let's see what is this supposed to do this is supposed to enhance your radiance it actively fights free radicals, leaving skin supple, resilient, and replenished. Ultra nourishing capucha butter and super conditioning coconut oil makes skin feel as luscious as it looks. So it has like coconut oil. It just has bomb ingredients. I'm so excited to be working with them in general, but especially with it being a brand that I'm like in love with. So I can like mention their stuff all day to you guys in my mind because I like absolutely love them and I love their products. And those are bomb. <laughs> so they got their own category for the winter months because that's probably one of the only products that I have been absolutely obsessing over other than Natasha Denona's palette because I've been obsessing over that too. I got the purple and blue now. We don't even want to talk about it, but it's expensive as uh, <laughs> it's expensive AF, we'll say that. But, <laughs> uh, no, no, we're not going to talk about that. We'll talk about that in another video, in its own video, when I review that palette. So we're going to go on to the next item, and the next item is going to be, I don't even know what number I'm on. I'm on number four. And this is by H2O Plus Beauty. It is the Oasis Hydrating Treatment. H2O Plus Beauty sent me a whole bunch of their products. I think I showed you guys in a PR haul or whatever. I went back to this because when I had originally looked at it, for some reason it stuck in my mind. And I, I like left those over there and was like, I'm going to review those after I finish the current skincare regimen that I was doing. And yeah, so <laughs> I went and found this because I needed a new moisturizer 
to start using and I needed to you know like moisturize my face because it was super super dry because the winter months you know it's just crazy so I started using this stuff right here the H2O plus beauty oasis hydrating treatment and this stuff is so bomb like so 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 bomb like I am hooked on this right now it did make it to my top five list for winter months because it's super moisturizing it reminds me of like a hair gel and the way that it looks but it is just so, so good. Like, look at this, guys. I don't even want to waste it. But look at that. Look at that. It doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel thick. It doesn't, it feels like something, like you're putting on a moisturizer straight from the spa. Like, I swear, it feels like it's straight from the spa. Like, afterwards, you just feel clean and refreshed but also moisturized not sticky not thick not too much just perfect so it's just how I like it and I, I something about gel moisturizers I don't know if it's because I have oily skin but I just really like gel moisturizers and that one I'm hooked on the next item is going to be also for moisturizing and it is going to be my favorite lip gloss so I have to keep my lips moisturized too, you know. And right now I have been addicted to the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the color Sepia. It is just a bomb color. If you're my skin tone, even if you're lighter, it's like a, I don't know, it's my dream color. <laughs> I just love that color. Also, I have been in love with this lip gloss and it's like honey. I, I don't know what it is. It's honey lip, it's a honey lip treatment oil. And it's called 24-7. I got it from Peach and Lily. Peach and Lily. Um, and one of the Gin Beauty bags. And I really, really love it. I think it was in the cocktail party bag. Okay, so last category is going to be a face masks. And uh, I think that face masks are definitely a winter must-have. I think they're a must-have all the time. But for the winter months, they're definitely a must-have. So I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite face masks that I feel are necessary during the winter months, for me at least. <laughs> so the I'm going to start off with the most affordable. The most affordable is going to be my Tony Moly sheet mask. I know I have mentioned these before and I'm mentioning them again. I'm going to mention them always because you guys need to get on this deal. These are 10 for about $10 on Amazon. You guys need to get on it. I'm going to go ahead and put a link down below in my description box so that you guys can get you some. They're 10 for $10, so that's like about a dollar a sheet mask. And I use them like every other day in the winter months. It's just so easy to use those too because you can just like put it on while you're late. While you're, while you're late. It's just so easy to use those too because you can just like put them on while you're like laying in bed or whatever. And it's just so much easier than putting on a like physical face mask like a you know like a face mask the next one I'm gonna show you but it's just so easy to just put on a sheet mask when you're being lazy or when you're feeling lazy and I understand I get like that too where I'm like I don't want to do anything I barely want to wash this makeup off but you can get that makeup off put on that sheet mask and be good to go um, another honorable mention is going to be the Snell Jelly Sheet Mask. I actually have a giveaway going on with this brand on my Instagram, so make sure to enter that giveaway if you haven't already. It will be ending soon once you guys see this video, so make sure to enter if you are interested. It is a K-Beauty type mask, basically, and it is made from snail secretion. It sounds crazy. It sounds real crazy. But it's just good. It's super moisturizing. Snail secretion is like a moisturizing agent. It filtrates, refreshes, and energizes your skin and extracts with extracts from natural ingredients. So as natural as snail secretion is, I take it. I actually really like it. And I actually have a couple other things that have like snail snail secretion in it like from Tony Moly like I have their moisturizer that has snow secretion in it and I really like that as well one of my favorite sheet masks that are a little bit more pricey is the Pirelessi sheet mask and I have a bunch of these these are really really good too I am I don't know if it's really called Pirelessi Pirelisse I think it's called Pirelisse but these are bomb I absolutely love them I have both of the different kinds 
Do I have them here or are they? They're not in front of me. I only have the blue lotus and white tea in front of me, but I have both of the kinds. They're two different kinds. There might be more than two. I need to go check that out actually because yeah, but <laughs> there may be more than two, but I have two different kinds I know for sure and I love those sheet masks. So for actual masks, these are my two favorite face masks. I have the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. I won't be repurchasing this whenever I run out, but they do last damn near forever. Do they have an expiration date? I don't know if they have an expiration date. Maybe just when they dry out? Let me know, guys. Do they have an expiration date? They last forever because I've had this one for a very long time and it's still on and kicking and it is super expensive, super pricey. I know I thought that it was crazy when I saw the price. I believe it's $69, $59, $69, $69. Expensive AF, like crazy style. But an alternative and something that I feel works just as good and just as bomb is the Origins Drink It Up Hydration Overnight Mask. Both of them I use overnight. I just put it on and sleep on it. This one can get to the point where it's actually too moisturizing. So I will wipe off some of it or just apply a little and not too much because I do get carried away with moisturizers and everything that I put on my face. I just get carried away. So <laughs> this one I would say to wipe it off or just try it out all night if you're super dry and it'll definitely wake your face up super moisturized. Richard actually really likes this one as well too and his skin is more on the dry side. Okay guys, so that is all of my winter must-haves. Make sure to check out Nikki Beauty Bliss's video as well. Um, I'm sure you guys will love it. I'm going to go ahead and go over there and check it out as soon as her video is posted because I definitely want to see what she has in store for us. <laughs> so uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you came over here from Nikki Beauty Bliss's video. Make sure to enter my giveaway that just was announced yesterday for my 15k subscribers and Valentine's Day and there's definitely some awesome prizes in there and you guys are welcome to enter. Make sure to mingle in the comment section below. Um, we have a nice fam going on here and I'm sure you guys will love it. We welcome you with open arms. Hopefully you guys be nice. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye guys.